Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back again. I request you to watch my two videos on the same topic. I will provide the link in the description. Please go through that. Then you will come to this one. So, the credit status of an order or delivery will be updated in VBUK uh, table in ECC system. However, in case of S4 HANA system, the credit status will be updated in same table VBAK and LIKP. And the overall credit status will be updated based on two fields. One is payment card authorization and letter of credit. The field for payment card authorization is CMPSJ and letter of credit is CMPSI. In ECC, these two fields are available in uh, VBUK, whereas in uh, S4HANA, these two fields are available in <coughs> VBAK and LIKP. So whenever sales order is released from credit block, then the status of the transaction will be updated as D, that is released. If order is blocked due to credit validation failure, then it will be updated as B. The field which will hold the credit status in SAP is VBUK CMG ST. CMG ST is the field which will hold the credit information. You see here, uh, we have five different options here. Uh, blank means uh, credit program not triggered. That means uh, there might be some setting missing, uh, some config missing to initiate that uh, transaction of credit process. In that case, uh, blank will be up updated. If it is A, credit program is triggered, everything is fine, so it will be A. Uh, B means document is not okay. C means uh, document is partially okay. D means it has been released. So these are the five parameters in CMGST uh, field. Okay, now let's understand uh, each and every status one by one. If it is A, that means approved. If all the assigned credit checks are okay, credit block did not happen. In this case, order can be displayed in credit exposure with its credit value. The credit value in the sales order is VBAK. In VBAK table, we have the credit value field. In VBAP level also, item wise, we have that credit value field, which will be later transferred to credit exposure. So whenever it is A, then that is approved. In this case, the confirmed quantity will be still hold the, some value. It won't be zero. However, uh, deliveries will update the credit exposure even with credit block. That means uh, the credit exposure will hold the value of an order or delivery whenever that order or delivery is credit released. If the transaction is blocked for credit, then those transactions won't be updated in exposure. However, in case of delivery, credit exposure still will be updated with exposure and credit block also will be applied. Uh, in some cases, uh, if there is no enough stock available, then it also can happen. A credit program will trigger and it will up, it will up, make it as approved based on all the parameters. But confirmed quantities are missing on schedule line level. In this case, your document's credit value is zero and will not appear among the credit exposure values despite credit status being approved. Uh, 